very powerful stories there from our Kickstarter. Of course, uh, uh, Priscilla was uh, speaking to those ladies, and of course, I do hope uh, whatever was uh, being put forward can, of course, uh, be achieved. We now go into Take Note on Morning at NTV. We're glad you're still with us. Those who are just joining us, welcome on board. We're going to be speaking to Mr. Raymond Akankwasa. He's the Director for Industrial Hubs at uh, State House. And of course, uh, we shall be delving into the industrialization agenda as espoused by President uh, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. Of course, uh, he has promised to support industrialization in the local economy. And uh, Mr. Kamgisha Raymond shall be giving us a little bit more detail and uh, few of the aspects that uh, define exactly how that agenda is uh, being rolled out. Welcome to the program, Raymond Kamgisha. A very good morning. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing? It's Good Friday. It's Good Friday. <laughs> I'm glad to see Let's you. Let's talk about industrialization. Industrialization, no doubt. What are industrial hubs? Industrial hubs, this, uh, it's, it's a, a concept new here in this country, mm. but it's uh, not new in all over the world. Okay. Uh, so the president started this initiative uh, three years ago mm. after seeing uh, how the Asian Tigers made it to the uh, to the to be high tech yeah. countries. Mm. So um, and also the need for all Ugandans to join the money economy, especially the young people. Uh, so the president took the onus on uh, himself to, th to think for us mm. and then came up with a, an idea of industrial hubs. So there are 20 in the country mm. spread out in all parts of this country. Every sub-region has an industrial hub. Okay. If I had a lot of time, I would <laughs> tell you where they are located. No, I would just ask the country. question. Industrial yes. hubs, are these the parks we hear about? Is Namamve, for example, part of the industrial hub? Uh, agenda or dispensation uh it's uh, a kind of different uh -huh. so like the one in kampala is uh, on uh, the industry hub for kampala is in chigo is in chigo yes on oh, the on the okay. on the express highway yeah. there yeah. and then the one for mango it's in kayunga mm. then we have one in the, uh, for greater Mubende, it's in Mubende. okay then we have uh, one in roshozi for barara okay then for gulu Mm. It is in Gulu, Gulu district. in Unyama Town Council, uh, after Eastern Unyama Uganda. Town Council. Eastern Uganda we have quite several. We have one in Jinja mm. for Busoga. Okay. Then we have one for Bukedi, sub-region in Chibuku. Mm. We have one for Bugisu in Imbale. Mm. Yes. How important is uh, this kind of arrangement in uh, achieving economic transformation? You spoke about the fact that President uses the Asian Tigers as the benchmark for achieving this particular thing. But the Asian Tigers did a lot more than just industrial hubs. How does it work out? No, they started the same way we are starting. Mm. Uh, you know, we have our leaders, our politicians are very good at comparing <laughs> nations. <laughs> so I think now we are walking the talk. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they didn't have problems like war and what have you. So, in this, uh, these Asian Tigers, what they did, mm. <coughs> they started with simple industrial hubs. Like, what will happen in an industrial hub, we are going to be, uh, we want that local person or young Ugandan mm. who is out there in your village, who never had an opportunity to go to school. They will be skilled in their local language to acquire a skill mm. in welding, carpentry, shoemaking, we shall have weaving and knitting, we shall do uh, baking, mm -hmm. those simple things that we need in our society. So they'll be trained in those very, very, very uh, skills, and they start up small, uh, 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 like uh, no, I can start, if I have learned welding mm -hmm. from the industrial hub, mm -hmm. I can start a welding workshop, or I can go and be and work in a welding workshop. Mm -hmm. workshop. But our main major, major, major component is that this young person, is equipped with a skill and they can start something on their own. Okay. So that's how we will put so many people in the money economy. People who have given up on life. Mm. I'm in my village, I didn't get an opportunity to go to school. S school fees maybe is not available for a reason or two. Maybe war, mm. let's say northern Uganda and what have you. So I've not been able to get that skill. So the president is looking for that very person uh, to make sure that they go back and learn a skill. You can learn a skill. 
Yeah. If you, mm. even you can go and learn a skill, yeah, no and, you know, uh, and start. Still, there yeah. are so many things I'm yes. still learning. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they, but we are targeting not uh, not professionals like you, but those people who have been unprivileged and have not been able to do something. Because mm. we have, we still have uh, around 38 percent of our population that is not in I the money be, economy. I could mm. be resorting to broadcasting because yes. whatever I'd wanted failed. So why are you eliminating my chances from uh, being able to gain from such uh, <laughs> an initiative? <laughs> exactly. Just put a, get, uh, explain to us why you are choosing to let some people off and not be beneficiaries. We want the very, very needy. Mm. At least for yeah. you can put something on the table. <laughs> <laughs> at your All home, right. but want those very, very needed people mm. to bring them in the money economy. Mm. They learn something, they produce, they produce, start produce small things. And we also have, you know, these industry hubs are interesting. We have value addition. Mm. For example, if you come from Karamoja, there is a lot of marble. And we want uh, set us through the set house controller. We have put up machines, they have been put in place to model those marble uh, stones mm. into products that can be sold internationally. Okay. So want to do also import substitution. Mm. We want to add value to our maize, want to add value to so many things. You know, it's so f ridiculous that, like for example, in Chigezi, mm. there's a lot of Irish, but we, <laughs> we import Pringles, crisps from, <laughs> from the Arab, Arab countries. Mm. It's very, very funny, yet we have everything here so we are we have also those that uh, element mm. also in the industrial hub because we are an agriculture country mm. and the president has been talking about the four acre model so we have a demonstration farm of four acre model in every industrial hub that and it's in the proximity of your region mm. so you will not complain that you've never seen it anywhere no if you're from Kasese you walk along in Chibuku there it is in Mubuku there the industry hub is there. Good. We shall be coming to the success stories uh, in as far as uh, rolling out the industrial hubs agenda is concerned very shortly. But uh, let me first keep it to the beneficiaries. There's been a series of uh, interventions uh, from uh, the president's office, uh, which technically is a state house. I don't know whether this particular one is co-opted into the greater agenda that involves the Uganda Investment Authority, that involves the Ministry of Trade and Tourism. In F to be able to see something roll out in a more comprehensive way and not something people look at as this is state house don't interfere mm. don't just the state house leave it let it roll out the way they want it to roll out there is that mm. tendency are we working with other sector players yes of course we are working with very many sector players working with the ministry for example working with the minister of education mm. the director director of industrial training dit mm -hmm. they are the ones certifying our learners okay those the trainees the people are training they'll be certified by the director of industrial training uh then also work closely with the minister of local government mm -hmm. with the local especially the districts mm -hmm. they are the hosts mm -hmm. they are the ones uh, who gave us land and then again they are on the management mm -hmm. like uh, every industrial hub every district within that industrial hub mm -hmm. they they send somebody, a representative, and they form like a committee that runs that very industry hub. Mm. Quickly yes. take us through success stories, any that uh, is uh, prominent and can be something to look at with, uh, well, as a showcase. Uh, one, mm -hmm. we are launching. Ah, just launching. We are launching. Okay. Uh, we've finished construction. And then we've finished training. Mm. Uh, in the recent weeks, we've been, uh, the state house controller has been moving around the country, mm. mobilizing leaders to, for the launch. Okay. So the president is going to launch mm. at the same time, all industrial hubs. So we are preparing leaders and, uh, of course, sharing them guidelines. It's an all-inclusive program. It's not a set house tied program. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Engineer Raymond Kamgisha, Director of Industrial Hubs at uh, State House for sharing insights and perspective on uh, President uh, Yori Kaguta Museveni's industrialization agenda, something that uh, the President says will be in position to trigger the kind of uh, economic transformation that uh, Uganda needs. We now go to...
Stephen Mbide, who is uh, along Namirembe. Of course, uh, it is uh, the way of the cross walk by religious leaders and uh, Christian faithfuls as part of uh, events to commemorate Good Friday.